Hey everybody, so Foodie Beauty's been live for 14 minutes or so. Let's catch up to her. I don't think this is going to be a long one. Let's go. I'm putting out 1.25x and let's get started. Hey, Vanny Joe, Charlie's mom, Maria, Random Fish. Have a sweet dreams, Random Fish. Yes. How you doing? Welcome. Hopefully you're good. We got Bourgeois B again. And everybody else just coming in. JB0617, what's up? Cypher, Observant, Sassy, Italian, and Marie. You're in a dentist chair. Okay, Observant. Well, hopefully things turn out well for you. Whatever you're doing there. I don't know if you're doing a teeth cleaning extraction. Maybe some, some dental work of some sorts. Green Mommy Sill, hey there. Hello. Welcome to the Mildo. Hi, everybody. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hold on a second. I'm looking for my hand cream. My hands are dry. It's, everything is like, it's so dry here. Strawberry pound cake. I got this for my birthday. Hi, everyone. I missed everybody. I said, I missed Jade, a little doll, dumb rum, love the sun of rain, pink stars, average undesirable, Casey Reed, punk rock, Ashley. HG, Amanda, welcome, salam, Karen, Ashley, Tiffany, hi, Tiffany, Moni, Sabre, Tangerine, Enchanted, Charcoals, hello, Orange Pulp, Baxter, welcome, salam, Air Trends, hello, Greta, Olivia, No Name, Bella, 111, hi, Lisa, thank you, Gal Charlotte, Rachel, Orange Pulp, Heather, <laughs> Selfies, hi, Lady Lagosi, it's been Gloria. ringing, you should be studying, Andre, Bill 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 Bill. yeah, um, Moonflower, Seven years, Karen. Wow, thank you. Sarah Jean, welcome salam. <laughs> Hi. Wilma. I'm doing okay. Don't even hire you, Ava. Um, yeah, so I'm using some hand cream because oh, it's like weird. <laughs> mm. Hey Christina. There's a spider. Don't scare me. I hate spiders. No, I don't hate them, but I don't want to be around them. They, they freak me out. I don't know why. Why do spiders, like, they're so small, they freak people out. They're creepy looking. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't see Sally in the chat. I do not. I wonder where he is. Currently, 697 people watching oh, her. Olivia, sorry to hear that. Hey, Capone. You ever have smell this pink sugar? Oh my gosh, you guys. I bought hair dye today. That was what I did today so far. I had lunch with my sister and then I bought some hair dye. And the sun is beaming on it. Oh. Just give me a sec here. Okay. <laughs> Sala <we> long gone. <laughs> or maybe even more. There we go. <laughs> that actually might be true. So guys, you don't like the way their legs move? <sighs> Maybe they truly did finally break up. Foreign language knows. words? What words? I was speaking a foreign language? Like you might actually be really right. Observant, who knows? Airspace is not closed for Kuwait. I think they've already reopened a lot of it anyways. It's like mostly Iraq. It's not Kuwait. Hey, Gorilla Spawn. So, uh, yeah. Um, don't really have much to say. <laughs> Just thought I would go live. Um, might go live a bit later. Maybe we can, like, have dinner or something. I don't know. Hey, Melly! Yeah, things are not good in the Middle East right now. So I'm just waiting to see, you know, what happens. Um, I don't know. I'm not, like, afraid of being in Kuwait because of that. Like, I'll take my chances and with being with my family. So I'm not afraid of like war, but um, yeah, I guess we'll see because they did close the um, airspace, but it was like for, it was like flights to like, I think Israel and Iran and like Iraq, like, you know, which Kuwait is close to, but it's still not there, but we'll see. How much do you have to do before going back? 
dropping off anyways. I mean, I'm getting things done though, but I have a few more appointments and things like that. Excuse me. So yeah. Hey, Colleen, the weather is nice today, actually. Oh, your daughter's in Turkey. Hey, golden girl. You guys think it will be a super shitty decision to go back during all of this? I would think so, too. A Ku Kuwait is in the mix. Don't you take your butt over there. I would say so. Because if war breaks out between those countries, um, there there is going to be something going on with Kuwait. But yeah, somebody said in the chat that USA has Kuwait's back. Yeah, of course, because of the oil interests. Hey, Shannon, what's up? Yeah, I'm I'm excited to go back for sure. I would say yes. Yeah, she could be stuck. <laughs> Akid Yani. Yeah. It's nice to visit here, but that's about it, you know. Don't feel really like at home anymore. I don't know. I mean, I do feel at home like with family and stuff, but like, I don't know. It's just hard to explain. It's nice and sunny. Yeah. Spring is here, full swing, you know? <laughs> it looks sunny behind me. Yeah. It is very nice. So I'm going to go do something. And, hey, baby. I was thinking of having something for dinner. Hey, creepy comfort. Yeah, can you imagine foodie in a wartime, uh, war type or wartime situation where there's stuff that people have to do and she wants her freedoms to go to like McDonald's or Burger King, Hardee's, and she's not able to do that? So, no power, no all sorts of stuff can happen. Let me tell you guys though. <laughs> How you doing, creepy? Yeah, they're in my car because I don't have a home here, you know? But my time has been fun. Like, I've had some birthday celebrations and things like that. And it's nice driving around places I, like, missed, you know? But after a few weeks, you're like, I'm, like, ready to go back, you know? Back to the wife life. The bagel with cream cheese. Thank you, Ever Done Desirable. It's a beautiful day in Florida. Yeah, it is getting warm here, Golden Girl. You'll be coming back to good weather. Oh, thanks, Melly. <laughs> Sam is staying with uh, the person that the home he's in. He's when I think about things more, I think that food is probably going to stay here. I think she knows that back there is not a good idea. Yeah, wife life. That kind of made me Google for a little bit. Fine there. They don't. They do love him and don't mind keeping him. So. Maybe I can get him in like a little while. I don't know. Getting back to making vids podcast and we're visiting an abandoned prison. Yes, I've been missing your vids. Gee, no way. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm not getting an apartment here. It's like so expensive. I don't know. I don't think it would be worth it. Hey, Vanessa. Hi, Kiana. Miss you, Chantel. So glad you're alive. Thank you. Yeah. Not an exciting one. I don't really have much to say or do, but. I thought about that, Edna. I was like, this is the same person that was crying for food and shelter when her power went off for literally a few hours and then deleted the post when the power came back on. Yeah. Um, yeah. You wouldn't fear well. But I do miss you guys. I do enjoy making vlogs, though, too. Like, you know, you can just eat. I don't know. Hi, Nikki. I don't know what I'm going to eat tonight. Am I feeling better? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. The flu has come and gone. People are like, that's an omen to stay in Canada. No, I came here and got sick. That's an omen to leave. <laughs> that's a sign to leave. As soon as I get here, I get this bad, horrendous, horrendous stomach flu. <laughs> could you rent a place with your piece I, yeah I could but I don't think it's worth it honestly I don't like if I go back I really plan on not coming back here for a while 
So red lobster. Uh, it's like, if you want lobster, it's like 50 bucks. And then it's like, you get a small tail and it's all freaking buttery and oily. I'm craving like some like real good authentic like Thai food or something. <laughs> like, you know, those salad rolls. It's like rice paper and like inside it has like mint and veggies, and tofu and stuff. You're not sure about dinner either. Your scrape boat. You'll be back in three months. No. Yeah, I can't. This has been an insane time and there's no way. There's no way I can come back in three months. It's not going to be doable. Hi, Angela. I want to go like to Malaysia or somewhere else like that. I don't know where I want to go yet, but sure. I need to, you know, think about that. <clears throat> sure, Thank she you, will. Malaysia, okay. How about the uh? Yeah. How about Mount Everest? She's supposed to do that. Yeah, but I'm not going to be in Cornwall today, so I kind of just bounce around different places when I'm here. But there's a lot in Ottawa. In Montreal, I don't know which one I want to go to. <laughs> the house? No, I haven't. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. What did I lie about, Cali Goral? And now I, I'm like, now I have my other cat. Like, I don't want to leave, so. Yeah, Sam is okay where he is. How many in her chat? 767 people are currently in her chat. Talking away. The haunted jail? <laughs> okay, sure. Did I eat a beaver tail yet? No. I like them, but not like, I don't love them. Like, it's not something I think of craving, you know? What's everything, Callie? Name something. You can't name something? Happy E. Thank you, Brenda. He's not getting beat up by another cat. Okay, what then, according to Heather? Name something. To be fair, Sam and BBJ didn't get along either, like the whole time. Hi, Anna G. No, Capone, I wouldn't. So true, Jess. Why is there like drama over my Alice in Wonderland bag? I don't care if it was like found in the garbage. It was gifted to me. It's special. Yeah. What was the an apartment? How is that a lie? One minute I was getting an apartment and now I changed my mind and I'm going back to Kuwait. So how is that a lie? I was getting an apartment if I was staying here, but it turns out that I'm not staying here. So that's not a lie. <laughs> okay. The visa run. You don't know my visa run status. Do you think Sella dumped her? I don't know. Maybe you should ask the audience. Did Sella dump foodie beauty? I'll, I'll put up a poll and see what Do you think Sella stay. dumped her? I don't know. Maybe you should ask the audience. Did Sella dump foodie beauty? I'll, I'll put up a poll. and see. Yeah, let me put up this poll and we're gonna continue. That's not a lie. You don't know it. And if I'm purposely not telling you, that doesn't make me a liar. It just means I don't want to tell you. <clears throat> no, it's not human resources. Well, I just proved you wrong, Kelly Goral. So what else? People think changing your mind is lies. I know they don't. They they're, they're very slow. That's all. That's just. Oh, yeah. there goes Sally in the chat right now. Geeks coming in. You lied about eating vegan food. Actually, I joke about that with you guys, but it actually was vegan food. It actually was vegan nuggets go back and look at it go back and look at the video <laughs> that's like that's such reaching who cares about that can you name something in this century <laughs> so if you make plans okay let's see this logic here now let's see kelly girl's logic if you make a plan to go to the mall and you say i'm going to the mall today i'm going to go to the mall at two and then somebody comes home and finds you home at five and they're like i thought you were going to the mall why'd you lie oh maybe i didn't change my mind i didn't feel like going to the mall like you know <laughs> yeah thanks maybe Kai. these folks must be holding their breath waiting for you to go live and start drama of course what a life a lie can be a lie even if there's no the intention is everything in a lie because you're being deceptive that's the whole point <laughs> of a lie like anyway i don't know how else to explain it to you so i'm not going to try it
<laughs> yeah, Gloria, really. Hi, Tian Moonshine. I don't know, probably. I think she's pointing out people gave you money. I did a video on that. I don't know if you didn't watch it. Obviously not, or you didn't hear. I made $37. Three people donated, and I told them they can have their money back. So, next. Yeah, exactly, Christina. Um, I don't know yet, pause champ, when I plan on going back. I have some things I have to take care of, so I'm doing that. I have some appointments and stuff like that. So, yeah, I guess whenever I'm ready to go, because I really don't want to go back for a while. Um, come back for a while. I don't know. It just depends on what I'm doing in life, you know, it just depends. All right, let me read this uh, super chat here. It says, it's no name, beautiful. Change YouTube name. How are you feeling, hon? If they don't want the money back, I'll accept it. You're eating shawarma? I had shawarma today. Yum, enjoy. I think my sciatica is like gone. It's like healed or it's whatever happens in remission. I don't know because it hasn't hurt in a long time. So I don't know. Yeah, I forgot the about thing that. thing I ever ate is probably the jumping shrimp. <laughs> Brittany, welcome to Rainbow Beezer Beezer Bees. Welcome. Thank you for becoming a Beezer. Maybe she's Yeah, of there. course, everyone's concerned about the Middle East. Yeah. You know. Why would I come here with no money to go back? <laughs> or with no money? Everyone was asking Chantel to give her cash up. It was not even her idea. It was chat asking her because people wanted to support her without backlash from you idiots. Yeah, hey, I, like I honestly don't care if people think I'm a scammer What's up? or an e-beggar. I don't care. I really don't. Think what you want. Like, <laughs> Did you guys notice in the last video how she came back from the lie? She said that Salah fully paid for her ticket to Canada. Then she said recently that he paid for most of the ticket. So... When are we ever going to have the truth? I'm beyond caring at this point. Like, that's the last, like, I have so much else on my mind right now. It's just like, you know. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. People were asking me. So I was like, okay, well. Yeah. It's like every single, uh, most creators or most reaction channels that are bitching about it have cash apps or something of some kind. Like, you know. <laughs> There's good in being in both places. Yeah, for sure. Eli is saying that you will buy a webcam for your 3K laptop next month and show your face and then don't do it and ignore questions about it. Yeah, that is true. <clears throat> Hello, Squeaky. Um... Hi, Ghostface. I had shawarma today so far, Brittany. Ethiopian food. I think I did try it. It wasn't bad. I like West African food. I'm not worried about the bomb threats now. The Pennington's bees. I need a new bra. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> yeah, why do they look like that, Arguti? Yeah. They look like, uh, I don't know, they look like potatoes or like cantaloupes. Yeah. And like a crocus bag to me. May I be kind? It is, yeah. Look like cabbages in a crocus bag. Hi, Cynthia. Is my cap soccer hurting you in some way? Let's bees. Yeah, we'll probably, I'll make bees later. Hey, Joanne. I'm feeling okay. So no, it's a Car Caribbean store. The Jamaican Patty's place. So we're in a field somewhere. Hey Nadine, how you doing? I feel myself dancing. Please do a haul. Yeah, I forgot to do a birthday haul. What I got for my birthday and stuff. I got so many new clothes. 
I don't even know how I'm going to bring <laughs> I want to bring all my birthday gifts back. But I'll have to like leave some things behind. Probably. Maybe I'll leave some of my older clothes behind. And then. Don't know. <laughs> I'll stare at Foodie Beauty's cabbages as long as I want pickled hobbits. <laughs> Melly. <laughs> Remember me and Foodie almost had a thing. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna ship this. No, it's gonna be not worth it. You know. Yeah. I probably won't like leave. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I remember when she used to wear those like uh bras that would accentuate her bust. I kind of want to stay till like after Mother's Day, but I'm not sure. I could have been her I baby daddy. I kind of could have been her baby daddy. I have an appointment on the 18th and then one on the 23rd. I have to definitely go to those. Oh, I'm so sorry, Nadine, about the COVID. That really sucks. Positive vibes to you. Hi, Pao Shakala. <sighs> I think it's May 11th. May Pretty much, Cypher. That's exactly it went. Uh, she wanted you. I said no, so she tried to get me arrested. Yes. That was the first ever blackout event that she was going to uh, call the cops and, you know, say shit about me. I do remember. Yeah, yeah you didn't know wig. OK, so what happened was she got mad. And then the first ever blackout event, she came on and she was like, oh, who people are doing a blackout on me. People are doing a blackout on me. And then people were like. Yeah, and she's like, "Who's doing it?" It's like, "Oh, um, oh, it's garlic bread and Monty." Ha! Huh. And then she started talking crap about uh, me, and then she was like, "Oh, she's gonna make up stuff about me. She was gonna call the cops." Yeah, yeah, and she denied it. She denied it like the next day or a couple of days later that she never said anything like that. I'm like, "Foodie, we heard you say it." She's just like Nell, or Nell is just like her. They'll say things out of rage or whatever, whatever is on their mind. And then the next day or the same day, they'll literally deny. Just watching the colors. Like... <laughs> you use your cat. I got that norovirus while on a five day cruise, quarantine for two days in a row. So bad, Adrian. Oh. What is Salah saying? Uh, he's just reacting to people saying, AJ, we will soon. Uh, I used to yeah, bandage. I Maybe I will back, scream. I'm trying to be like patient and, you know, if it were up to me, I'd already be back there. I didn't think, um, I did think that Salah's Thailand streams were pretty cool. Him walking around, acting like he doesn't know where he's going. But uh, he did know where he was going. <laughs> He was going to the, um, uh, <laughs> well, the Kathoys, right? I, I do have, like, things, like, you know, promise, like, my family that I would go to these appointments and take care of some things I have to do here. Exactly. She said specifically, yeah, she was going to call the police and they'll believe her because I'm black. That kind of tells you what kind of mindset she has in terms of, like, you know, race, racial inequality. And whatnot, because if you're really gonna go out of anger and speak like that, that just because I'm black, the police are not gonna believe me, is really telling about what's currently happening, even with that Canadian policing. Because if you've been watching or looking at the Thunder Bay stuff, um, the the ex chief police of Thunder Bay, um, has been arrested for like uh covering up a lot of stuff like i believe she was living or is living in ottawa so she got arrested for that and i think a lot of people are looking into thunder bay police especially since the video came out a few weeks ago about that woman who uh they were trying to pin something on her and somebody else was driving her vehicle and they were asking about her prescription meds and whatnot a lot of stuff is going on with thunder bay but even with cornwall uh, Cornwall is like another um, police service that um, 
is throt with a lot of things. So is TPS Toronto Police Service. So is Montreal's gotten a lot of shit as well. I'm beating the freaking Exactly, Maria. And and to think she was with a black man. She was with a person that was black from Africa and she's talking like that. It's disgusting. I'm not afraid of the war. I'll take my chances. I'm not going to leave him there by himself and my cat there to deal with that. I know, miles away. Brenda, they're not your business related. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah, get well soon, Ghostface. Yeah, and BB was a good person. Because not a lot of guys would put up with that shit. Like, they have to work, they gotta go to school, they gotta cook their own meals, maybe cook her meals. And you have a person just sitting up in a, in a place where, you know, you're paying all the bills and you got to, you know, earn a living. You got to clean. You got to do this and that. He was putting up with a lot of crap with her. Yeah. Oh, hi, Mike. I didn't see you. I'm missing comments or what? Just take each day that comes. Yes. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're here, Mary Ham. <laughs> so I guess it's not too dead, huh? I don't know. Like, is that supposed to be an insult? I don't even care, even if it is. Whatever. Oh, well, life goes on. <laughs> like, exactly, Susan. Everything is just trivial in this life. Everything. Except for really things that matter, you know? I do. Uh, yeah, I miss I miss everything over there. You think BB felt bad for her? In certain ways, I think you did feel bad for her. I think uh, once once you get in a relationship without truly knowing somebody, you gotta either accept you know who you're with or not accept who you're with after you truly get to know somebody. And that's why a lot of people say if you're ever gonna really want a long term relationship with somebody, you gotta live with them because there there's a difference between dating somebody for years maybe even 10 20 years you won't truly know that person unless you actually live with them then you you get to see their habits um how they truly are because living with somebody rather than seeing them maybe once or twice or three or four times a week is a lot different she likes the bad boys yeah, Susan, Susan, this is very good. Like, BB was the only one that didn't use her for anything. He was legal. He had a job. He took care of the bills when she didn't work. Exactly. He would clean up after her. Uh, he'd take care of her when she was sick. He'd tolerate pizza boxes in the closet, underneath the bed, roach infestations constantly because of her um, slobbish nature. There's a lot he put up with. So, I don't know, Sonata, we're not thinking about that right now, but Sam, so I saw, if you look up on YouTube, like there was a video I saw of, it was an old, like a, a long hair cat that died being taken internationally on Qatar Airways because it like overheated. So I'm scared of things like that. Couple spogs, yeah. Well, maybe we will do some when I go back. <laughs> Sprinkle. Yeah. I don't know. I think being here again, I really am just like. No, I don't want to be here. <laughs> hey, Becca Boo. Like long term, you know. Any big news? It seems she's getting some sort of therapy, Becca Boo. I don't think she's paying for it. Uh. Has been told, I believe it was Ziggy. It was you, Ziggy, that said it's probably a psychiatrist that's uh, getting, giving her therapy because if it was a psychologist or a therapist, she'd have to pay for it, right? 
So you haven't really missed much. I think if she's getting these therapy sessions, it's more, it makes more sense she's staying, coupled with the fact that Kuwait at any moment could uh, be in the midst of a war or in between nations that are fighting a war due to the uh, aggression of Iran, of Iran against uh, Israel. So you never know. All those countries could be doing whatever. Like there's so much happening in that area that would you risk going back to Kuwait knowing that it might take you weeks, if not months, to get the hell out of there? What if I overheat? I don't think so, Brittany. Hey, Bailey. Yeah, Amanda, I do. Salah did say that he might do walk-in videos in Kuwait because it seems people want that, which, I mean, yeah, it was pretty cool. Him showing talent. He should really show Kuwait since he's there, make some money. Would make sense to me. <laughs> Even I said that. I'm like, make something out of, like, the couple's channel. Walk. You get your exercise, plus you get paid. It's a win-win situation. Yeah, maybe someday. Maybe someday he can visit. Hello, all done. I'm not staying here, Angela, six months away from my husband. You I don't... know you guys don't have any emotional attachment to Salah, so you don't understand. But imagine if you were away from your husband for that many months. It would be hard for you, right? Well, act like it's a crime to be indecisive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm just, I'm always going to do what's best for me. And like, you know, at the end of the day, I know how I feel here and I know how I feel there. And hey, Red Sequins, what's up? I don't know. Glad to see you. Hi, Simply Ravishing. Yeah, he is a good guy. I don't want him to come here. I don't want to come here. I want to go there, <laughs> you know, and we want to travel. So, hi, babe. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> How could our, why would our marriage not be valid after being away for like a few weeks? I don't know if some of you guys hear yourselves, but. Yeah, Barbie C says matter of time before the airways are closed to civilian flights. Yeah, I would say so. People will start, they'll start closing their, uh, their airways <laughs> rather soon once things start to uh, escalate and then there's retaliation because you never know. That's how one flight, or actually I would say many flights in history have accidentally been taken down because they're mistaken for um, enemy fire rather than a civilian flight. She doesn't want him in Canada? I don't know really what she's doing with this whole Canadian thing. Like I said, she's had like 500 days to start the application for him, which is fairly intense, very invasive especially since he is Syrian, and she has to show a lot of proof. Bye, Colleen. So they got to show couples pictures. They got to show movie date receipts. Yeah. They got to show um, uh, dinner date receipts. There's a lot of things you got to show to prove that you're actually in a relationship due to people who get paid to bring people from uh, other nations into certain countries that are favorable for a lot of people i'm not sad i'm just like i'm, I'm not in like a great mood you know i don't know <laughs> yeah yeah Syrian i think i'm going through is normal from being in between you know syrian passports one of the weakest ones in the world ziggy I miss you too, babe. All done. It's no name, beautiful. Change my name. How are you feeling? Oh, hi. I don't know. Should I call you all no name? Hi, no name. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm okay. I'm hanging in there. Hope you're well. <laughs> Just melancholy. Yeah. Hi, Gemma. <clears throat> you want to send lunch money? Hi, Bailey Brooke. Oh, no. I said, how do you? Yeah. 
Crystal, we have central air. We have really, we have better AC there than here. <laughs> you know? Yeah, Ziggy. Only certain places he can go to. And I think with Thailand, he probably did need a visa because he's been there before. So probably had the prerequisite. Because once you get a visa for a place the first time, it's just way, way, way easier to get a visa the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth time once that visa expires. Because they've already done their checks and balances on you. So they're always going to give you that visa again and again and again. So that's what happened with him in Thailand. Yeah. Miss you too. <laughs> I did not I hear that, Stacey. I miss you a lot. And the and baby Gal and Howie. I don't know how much time Howie has left. He's a hamster. <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> So nice out though. Julia's good. Why hasn't he applied? Video, like every day, so. <laughs> Baby girl. Good question. Why hasn't he applied? Who's that wonderful girl? <laughs> well, wasn't him and Murad talking about they need like ten or fifteen thousand dollars to apply? Because on his end, it would be like a money thing, right? If Foodie Booty is applying for him and they're legitimately married, there will be a money. Um, issue because she has to show that she has the means to support him which could be easy I mean if her if her mother wants to put her money into foodie's bank account or put foodie as a joint account holder on her bank account and shows that foodie has you know enough funds to sustain her husband's uh, ventures in Canada so he's not a burden on the Canadian system then go ahead if her mom wants to reverse mortgage her home, to show that there is a significant amount of money in Foodie Beauty's bank account when she applies for him, then go ahead. That's that's their thing that they got to work out. Could she be any cuter? No way. Can he's good. I wish that's the only thing I really wish, you know. But yeah, and she has to be hey, current hey. with her taxes. That's another thing. As, she, as Sil says, she has to pay her tax bill first. Yes, she has to be current in her taxes if she's ever going to um, bring anybody into the country. Victoria. Oh, look! Here comes a suitor! <laughs> He's so handsome. Could she be any cuter? No way! I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> and it's an emergency every time I have to go. All done! Welcome to Fairport Meters, all done! Ready to say peace! Hello! Julia's gonna get so many smooches, yes. So many. That's okay. true as well, Ziggy. Should I try to drive somewhere and go to the bathroom? If she's been flagged, though, for the CRA. I mean, being, uh, being late on your taxes for years doesn't necessarily mean you've already been flagged by the CRA. Because the CRA will flag people. Uh, in any tax bracket, but they're mostly going to go after people who make a significant amount of money, right? So maybe they perceive her as being below that threshold, so they're not doing anything because, you know, it's kind of productive to them. West Coast, Salah's never even been here. <laughs> okay, I'll come back. I gotta go to the bathroom. You gifted 20 members! All done! Well, thank you! Oh my goodness! Thank you so much! I appreciate it! Okay, I'll, hold on. I'll put you in the seat. I'll be back when I find a bathroom. Alright, so I'm gonna go forward. And she's gonna do this. She's gonna go find a washroom. Oh, was she driving this entire time? No, it seems like it's still. Okay, so she's... Oh, she is driving. Okay. All right. All right, let's go here. She craps a lot. <laughs> yeah, so crap. All right, take care, Marie. Have a great one. Sorry about that.
Crystal, wishing you all the best, whatever you decide to do in your life. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And thank you, all done, no name, who got a gift from them? Thank you, oh my gosh, I'm so behind. Uh, okay, deleted, thanks for the money. Yeah, that was the thing, he supposedly had some sort of like sister or something in Canada, and that was why he was trying to uh, speak to Canadian women and they were allegedly supposedly going to a school in Montreal. I think it was at Concordia or something like that. She should wear diapers. Okay. Like He's the diaper okay. bandit. Julia keeps watching TV. No, I'm out of breath from running to the bathroom. <laughs> Forgive me for falling. Huh? Yeah, no, Stephanie, you're not. Okay. I just parked it through here. I might have to move. I don't even know where I'm parked right now. I don't have to. It kind of has that feel, doesn't it's it? No water. Yeah, that's exactly it. I seem more content and happier in Kuwait. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter which country you're in. If you have personal baggage, you have problems, personal problems. They're going to follow you, but um, the the... The way of living is a lot simpler there, a lot different. All right, cool, Charlie's mom. You know, great uploading. Don't have bad memories, history there. Um, different vibe, you know, especially if you're Muslim. So, yeah, I got sick all done. Oh, Angela, you got one too. I wonder where we're at now. For her to like not find a washroom and it took what like 10 maybe 15 minutes. 10-15 minutes to find a washroom. She was pretty far away from you know someplace proper. Which means she's probably going to the same area over and over and over again. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it. Explain. Yeah I feel better now. I hate when that happens. I need one of those toilets like Amy Ramadan had for her kids in the back of her van. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> You're right. You you wilding out here. Monty, I've tried Shine Shein for the locks, but I can't find them. They're either... I got my locks on Etsy, Ryan, okay? And it costs me quite a lot of money. Should I even tell you how many, uh, how many hundreds of dollars it cost me? Are you going to believe me, Ryan? Or are you still trying to wild out? So I'm feeling better, but eyeliner? Me? Oh, it's coming off. This guy's gonna come and ask me to leave, I think, so I'm gonna go. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hi. Oh, no, no, I'm leaving. Oh, okay, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. Hold on, guys. I need to find somewhere else to park. I'm tired of, I'm tired of being homeless. I'm just joking. Hold on, I gotta put my seatbelt on. <laughs> How dare you interrupt me? Just hold on. Give me like okay, five cool, minutes. Okay, Charlie's mom. I'll find somewhere for us to go. There's nowhere. Is the, is the volume on? Yeah. There's nowhere I'd rather be than bees in. Bees in. I want ice cream. Should I get ice cream? And she's out of there. You want locks like no, your beer? Like... We could be twins. We could be like Rasta beers, Ryan. Or maybe uh, thing one and thing two. Bees in with you and me. We're bees in. Ain't that the truth? We're bees in. Let's go get some freaking ice cream. Yeah, and then let's shit it out a okay. couple minutes later. So, here's what I'm thinking. It's clearly obvious that I can't just start a day on a whim. Like, I have to plan. Like, what I'm going to eat in a day. Or else I just kind of, like, just do whatever. 
But when I'm here in Canada, you think I'm, if you think it's bad. Oh, you've gained weight being in Kuwait. No, I haven't. The most I've weighed in Kuwait was like, what, 375? Here, the highest I've weighed is 402. So... With that statement, I don't even know who's more delusional, Daniel Larson or her, because Daniel Larson is completely in the thralls of delusion that is fortified by management, aka the trolls. But then there's Foodie Beauty. How the hell can you say you aren't, you haven't gained weight in Kuwait when clearly your buttons were a pop in on multiple occasions? Like it just doesn't make any sense. All right, so All Done says, you can still call me no name if it's easier. I'll change it back when I can. Got to go. You, my friend. Okay. Because, like, I can just get in my car and just go eat whatever, you know? Whatever I want, like I'm about to do. So, <laughs> um, that being said... Um, you know, if I write it down. Yeah, she's clearly heavier. I don't know why she... Adam the Woo, he has, like, he lost weight by doing, like, three rules. So, basically, no desserts, no sugar, no soda, and I can't remember what the other thing was, but... I honestly, I, I don't know why she thinks she can just lie and people believe. Who is Daniel Larson? That is a rabbit hole that we can tell you about, Maria. Beauty Speedy says, Monty, did you hear Jessica Messica deleted her original Discord? Um, the call Mike one? Is that what you mean? Is When did call Mike get deleted? Wasn't call Mike like call Mike 2.0? Anyways, you get the idea. There's so many comfort foods here. Yes, even more so than in Kuwait. Because here I have all the things like, um, you know, I used to pig out on. Putin. Ravioli. <laughs> Stove top. Um, cheese. Well, there's farm boy. Um, what else did I used to get all the time? Pizza, pizza. Oh, I, I see. There's so much junk. Thank you for the update, Beauty Speedy. Appreciate you. In Kuwait, I just basically have to stay away from the snack man. The snack man in the grocery store. <laughs> I eat too many snacks. Yeah. Bees and let bees. Let you guys ever hear that stupid song? And I'm sorry if you like it, but I don't like it. That song on the radio is like, <laughs> I don't want no whips and chains and it's and find me out and pick and love it on me, baby. Pick and love it on me. I like that song. It's out of my head. <sighs> <sighs> Go. Yeah, and it's Jack Carlo. Gotta watch out for Canadian geese everywhere. Don't be hating on them Canadian geese. They're <laughs> protective. Put your loving on me, And so Maria asks, who is Daniel Larson? Uh, Daniel Larson is a delusional pedophile that lives in Colorado that thinks he has a management team, an entertainment management team when it's really uh, trolls that effectively troll him to anger and outbursts, which are then recorded by themselves, but mostly by Daniel Larson himself. And people get daily kicks and well, kicks and pleasure out of trolling him this way. So he's in the thralls of multiple trolls, people acting like Bob Proctor, people acting like uh, uh, Mrs. Sartorius, 
Jacob Sartorius, people acting like uh, Grace Vanderwall, people acting like Tina Vanderwall, people acting like uh, Jacob. There is so much happening over there right now, and they've currently convinced Daniel Larson that places like Red Robin, which is a staple in Colorado, is actively poisoning him for whatever reason. Yeah, you're welcome, Maria. This car has been just, through a lot, just like my CPAP. Just Google Daniel Larson and a lot of stuff will come up. But, you know, beware. Um, his content's darker, as dark as uh, Cyrax. So Daniel Larson and Cyrax would be at the same levels. Like, pretty dark stuff. <laughs> yeah, he's a PDF file, you didn't know? Yeah, they say that it's likely he has autism. But um, it's almost confirmed that he's bipolar. Egg. You should see the videos of Daniel Larson spanking it to a then underage Grace Vanderwall when he is an adult male and she was a child. Because when did Grace Vanderwall get into the public eye, right? It was on America's Got Talent. So how long has she been active for? She's 20 years old now, but Daniel Larson has been whacking his PP off to Grace Vanderwall for years to the point where Tina, her mom, had to tell him to stop because she was disgusted by him. So 2016, so that was eight years ago. So, oh boy, so she was super young then, and this guy was, you know, spanking his meat to her, and there's videos of it, like, all over the internet. Plus, there's been multiple conversations caught of Danielle interacting with minors online. Uh, Daniel Larson's dad um, has nothing to do with him. Daniel Larson's mom has effectively uh, has a no contact order, a lifetime no contact order on him. Allegedly, it's been it's not been fully confirmed, but a lot of people in the community um, are saying this. Uh, he has a half sister uh, that doesn't talk to him. So effectively, the only person as close to a family member that he did have until December 2023 was Bob Proctor. But Bob Proctor now wants nothing to do with him. So he has no one. We're in Colorado, does Daniel Larson. He frequents Boulder, Colorado, and that area. So in and around okay, Boulder. Thank you for the <laughs> You want to shake? What got me into the British streamers? Well, coincidence. You know, there was Chelsea Lee Art, there was Alphaba, and I just got into it. Twisty? No, I don't want Twisty. You want ice cream? They're closed? What the? They're closed. Why did I come here? Are they closed? Hold on. Uh, they're effing closed. Hey, Moon and Stars, how are you? PSCP. Yeah, thank you all then for all the memberships. You gifted another 10 members? No way. <laughs> thank you. All done. You're the sweetest. Thank you. Hi, Sandra. Thank you so much, sweetie. I love it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
want fruit. I want ice cream. I'm not on a diet today. <laughs> 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 no, Ryan, Ryan, you're trying to clown me real hard, aren't you? I think I found them on Etsy. Freeze, trash, synthetic locks, pack of 100. Ryan, I, I already told you this is real human here, okay? There ain't no synthetic locks in my head, all right? So that pack of 100 for 349, you can try them, but um, that ain't me, okay? <laughs> They're closed. They close on Mondays. It doesn't offer anything like remember nothing whatsoever Tracy, I you she did at one point offer stuff but she never went through with the coffee what else was she offering like the postcard tears that she had uh hmm i don't like soft serve i want hard ice cream tracy i caught you i was eating mexican food tracy you ready to read these <laughs> what are you eating tracy Hey, Brian, I don't want you to stop clowning. It actually, uh, you know, makes the chat a little bit spicier. So you can keep coming here as much as you want. I kind of appreciate the clowning. It makes it spicy. <laughs> I know I won't leave Jessica Miska alone. 28 months. You got to twist in a <laughs> Yeah, babe. They're a lot of places here are closed on Mondays because they open all weekend. Yo, what would Ryan name? What would Ryan name be in a Mad Max movie? Ziggy's like, I hate white people with dreads. It looks like you belong in a Mad Max movie. <laughs> okay, I can't be Furiosa because you know what? There's a new Mad Max movie coming out, so I can't be Furiosa because that's already taken, right? And there's actually a new Mad Max movie called Furioso, Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. I'm gonna have to watch that, but. What would my Mad Max name be? I don't know. Um, wait, 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 wait. I could be like, I could have like a. How do I take a day off? I'm just joking. Yeah, but I don't want Dairy Queen. Soon, Ryan. Soon I will. Cheese nachos. Enjoy your Mexican food, Ola. Not Arby's. I don't want to beef curtain sandwich <laughs> yeah just be all done you you can still call me no name if you're i'll change it back when i can gotta go my friend thank you no name for all your generosity as usual and for being here thank you yeah i'll call you no name <laughs> thank you grocery store ice cream i want a waffle cone <laughs> Order hop. No way. Sonic is like three hour drive, or is it? It's freaking far. <sighs> you know what's crazy, Cypher? It wouldn't totally be not weird if I had vampire gloves on while driving my uh, my war rig in Mad Max universe. They'd be like, yeah, that's completely normal, man. Those are just vampire gloves. Oh, sushi. Hold on, let me check if this one place is open. Okay. I can try somewhere else. Get out of here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got a wax. Wait a second. Did I see something I wasn't supposed to see a couple seconds ago? Else. What's up with the Get top? Out of here. Did I see something oh, beige? <laughs> oh, it was the light. Wax. Today's tax day. Well, that sucks. My gym suit. Now I'll be more like the guy that has like the hundred. Uh, I don't know. Um, speakers behind him with like the flaming axe. You know, just playing songs while everybody else is just you know in their war rigs. What are those boys called again? The ones that were you know driving all the cars and anything. Everything sucks. Anyways, guys. Um, yeah. 
I have to go tomorrow shopping. I have to use my Lush gift cards for my birthday. Like friggin' 300 bucks of gift cards. So, I got a lot of things for my birthday this year. Like, why am I, why am I spoiled? I'm like, don't get me anything. I'm 40. I don't want anything. Ah, <laughs> uh, would you be to go to Arby's? Yeah, the War Lush Boys. Nice Thank you. Stuff, yeah, Lushy Lush. I know. Wouldn't like Imperator Monty sound a lot better than like War Boy Monty? I know. I think I would like that. Sip and scoop. No, I don't want sip and scoop. Amy Joe Sala is currently in our chat right now and speaking away. Do they have hard ice cream? Ew, not Mr. Puffs. I like Mr. Puffs. Lush has a Shrek collection, I know. But well, Mr. Puffs is kind of getting expensive for donut holes. I'm not going to be spending like nearly 10 bucks for 12 donut holes. You don't... I wouldn't even spend $12 for like full donuts, but the holes of a donut. Seriously? I don't want I don't want Shrek stuff. Why would they I hate Shrek? I hate everything right now. Oh. <laughs> Dreaming of them. We don't have cold stone. Yeah, I guess. Hangry. No, I had a shawarma earlier, but that did not agree with my stomach at all. I don't well, who else are you giving up your donut hole to, Ryan? You giving up to Nads? I don't want Nads's, you know, nasty leftovers. I don't know if it's like the there's something fatty or greasy in shawarma that hurts my stomach. It must be like, do they use oil in the tomb? I think it's the tomb. It's Moon and Stars. It's your birthday. Yes. Hi, Mike. We don't have cold stone. Tomb is pure oil and garlic, right? Ugh. Ew, and garlic. Did she say there's no cold stone? Today. Wait a second. Teardrop! Hello! Missed ya! Hi, Nat's not playing. Yeah, I'm in Canada. Creepy comfort. Go to the grocery store and buy ice cream and waffle cones. <laughs> Thank you for rebeezing, British Creepies! Then I have to go in the store, like in the grocery store, and scoop it out. No. But thanks for the suggestion. <laughs> I don't have an ice cream scoop. What can I use around here? I'm a guyver with this stuff. Well, I could make, I know what I could do. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Rajaranja. I like how uh, Ryan is addressing me as uh, as daddy and everything. I think uh, I might enter a DS relationship with Ryan sometime soon. You can call me Sir Ryan with a capital S. <clears throat> Old fashioned ice cream? Where's that? Let's go get a sandwich. Let's go get a sandwich. Man, I'm hungry. Cheese. Bipolar? Bipolar? Anyways, if I am, don't bipolar shame. Do you guys want to go see the goose? The one that's nesting and it hasn't moved? I love Fire, that. subs are bomb. Why don't you get a sandwich? Yes. Taylor, you're freaking me out. How do you know where I am? <laughs> no fries. They don't have fries at the sandwich shop. Get a Klondike bar. Yeah, Firehouse, we don't have that here. Hey, Vera. Sandwich beezing. Vincent Massey Drive is there. No, you can't pet the goose, babe, because it, <laughs> it won't let you near it because they're very protective. So if you even go near it, it goes, and then it starts flapping its wings, it'll attack you. And usually, like, the one at the LCBO has, there's a dad. So last time I drove by it, the mom was by itself. 
And then when I stopped my car, the dad came flying in. <laughs> almost attacked my car. They're really protective. A goose emoji. Wait a second. Is Ryan already in a relationship with S Jam? You cheating two timer. Now you coming over here? Um, I'm in Canada. Don't know yet. Oh, really? You're into a uh, queening, or should I rather say kinging? So you you would let S Jam sit on your face? You know how they call that queening because it's you know a uh, woman. A lot of women do that. But if a guy does it, isn't it called kinging? I have some appointments I have to deal with then. I don't know. Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully. The airspace won't be closed. Big McBoos. He was nice. We have ducks everywhere at our park. They're so cute. <clears throat> they are cute, eh? Anyways. And that's Sjem's baby daddy. <laughs> oh my gosh, so he's mollies. We're a lot like Canadian goose. Oh, he's migrating aggressive around eggs. I hate eggs. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna put you guys back on the chair. Bye. Ugh. All right, here we go I again. She's really trying to not make us know where she, which city she's in. I like for right now. I don't even know if it's Cornwall, Ottawa, or Montreal. I do think it's Cornwall though. But you notice how she's no longer showing us around where she's going, so we have no idea. All right, so much time. Or should I just? get Asian food like I wanted. Well, it's only two. There's still three meals. There's still two meals left today. So I had breakfast. I had shawarma. Now I can have lunch. I'm going to do a few groceries or something. I've been eating. Well, whenever you're traveling, it's hard to like, you know, when you're not staying in one place for too long, just do like a whole bunch of groceries and cook and stuff. So you have to kind of just eat out. You know? Sure. I don't want to just impose on people. Hey, can I eat dinner at your house today? Hey, can I eat dinner at your house today? But maybe I know a lot of people in Canada anyways. Like, can I come over for dinner? <laughs> Imagine. I would You're welcome, Maria. I never, I don't like to invite myself to places. I want to try a chamoy pickle. I wonder if you can buy those at like sip and scoop or pick and choose or like a, a candy store. <laughs> when I was sick, I was legit eating pickles like they were going out of style. Like it was bad. Okay, now the place I want to go is all right. Yeah, I know where we're going. Hi, babe. <laughs> He's a man. He's a special man. All right, so where did she say she was going now? Who's a wonderful girl? Could she be any cuter? No way. Reminds me of 2021 slash 2022. Who's a wonderful girl? Oh, look, here comes a suitor. He's you think she already met with Natter? You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if they are meeting each other. 765 people in our chat. We have no idea which city or town she's in. Yeah, I mean, Naz, Naz will, you know, Naz will actually say something after a while, but maybe not now. So handsome. She's beautiful. She's graceful. She's almost two. <laughs> Are you almost two? What are you doing? What are you doing? What you doing? Do? Your breath smells like fishy fish! Uh, Ryan, could you All describe right, yourself? Thanks for your patience today. Could you describe yourself for us uh, a, a little bit, Ryan? Are you like, how tall are you? Are you uh, athletic? Are you uh, overweight? Are you average? Are you skinny? Are you tall? Are you short? But, uh... Someone's talking to me right now. 
<laughs> Ash says, I don't think she has the money Nader wants anymore. Yeah, like I don't think she'd be able to afford to give away $2,000 a month because that's a pretty significant chunk of money. Go away. She's beautiful, she's graceful, she's almost two. Honestly, I don't even know how old Bibi Gal is. I think she's maybe one. I don't know. So true pickled. Uh, she's the princess for me. Who's a wonderful girl? Oh, I love that you're clowning. You're a six foot average build and lockless. So why do you want dreadlocks so bad, Ryan? Okay, I gotta think of what kind of sandwich I won't. <clears throat> well, look. Nope, I can make it. Yep. I'm hitting every red light. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, He's only charging 10k a year. I love driving around. But honestly, like, I only like driving here. I don't like driving in Kuwait. The one time I did it was so nervous and, like, it wasn't fun. <laughs> Because, like, everyone drives differently. Here, it's different. I know where I'm going. You know, the key is familiar. I like being a passenger. I just like being a princess when I'm there. Maybe that's why I like being there. I like being a princess. Whoa, whoa. Lady, calm your nerves. Holy cannoli. <laughs> okay, where am I going? Why do you think I like them long and lanky, Maria? You know, some some ladies like guys like that. Like they like the super skinny guys with the uh, big appendages. <laughs> so if I go down this street and then go all the way down, we'll be there in about four minutes, okay? So entertain yourselves, be nice to each other, don't be a jerk. Look, I have to tell you, I realized something, okay? The only thing that matters on earth is how you pretty much yes, pretty much treat other people. Okay, because at the end of the day, we're all going to be worm food in the ground, right? Nothing of the crap you buy in this life, you can't take it with you, doesn't matter. And if you were a good person and you did good deeds, that's all that matters. That's your currency to the next life, okay? So, <sighs> Yeah, I wouldn't be actually surprised about this uh, sassy because uh, the comebacks are, are not bad. That's it. That's all. So my goals used to be to become famous and try to go on like America's Got Talent and like become like rich and famous and like, please, you know, that will never happen. And I don't care. I don't want that. I don't want to. I don't want to be idolized ever. <laughs> not that I ever would be. But, you know, I don't like, I don't want to be, like, people are idolized for the wrong reasons in life. Like, there's this girl on TikTok, she has billions of likes, and it's, like, viral, just for being pretty. Like, who gives a shit? Sorry for my language, but who cares? Like, that's not a reason to be idolized whatsoever, because you have nice hair, because you're pretty. No, that is so not a reason to be idolizing somebody. I'm sorry, but it's true. I think people should be idolized for, like, the only... First of all, you shouldn't be idolizing people. It should be God. But to me, that's just so dumb. I don't know. So, yeah. There's my lecture for today, okay? Thank me later. <laughs> you're probably thinking you're so full of crap. Well, it's true, though. I mean, come on. You know? Okay, foodie. Anyways, the sandwich I'm about to get is a lot prettier. <laughs> Who's that wonderful cat? Your breath smells like fishy food. All right, still consistently 763 people Ooh, in our chat. Cat. Being live for an hour and a half. Oh, look. Here comes a suitor. 
Loki is so handsome. Also, I noticed if you rely on things to make you happy, then you just keep needing more things to keep you happy. You know, it's like, oh, like, for example, how many like, you know, stupid things people buy, like mugs, you know, you have to keep buying $50 mugs, a Stanley mug, a Yeti mug, like just stuff. You have to keep buying things to keep yourself happy. Like things that, you know, I used to be like that. Even now I catch myself like, I, I get the urge to want to buy like really frivolous things just to make me temporarily happy, you know? Where am I going here? Oh, uh, it's closed. It's closed. Okay, I'm 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 done with this. I'm done Where with this. Hell? I'm done. This is BS. Okay, if those places keep getting closed, she has to be in Cornwall. This is absolute BS. It's like very small town. Everything I want is thing. closed. I hate Mondays. I hate Mondays. <laughs> she did say that, Krista. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh, look, here comes the suitor. Give me a minute. I'm looking for something here. Oh, that is close too. The only day it is today is Disbelief. National Laundry Day. I'm sorry if I sound preachy. I'm just trying to make conversation while I drive. It's also They're McDonald's Day. The, the tired motor of the Kia. Yeah. Somebody said there's a KFC buffet in Canada. I've never heard about that. What's up, American girl? Welcome back. Okay, where am I? Are you serious? There is a freaking KFC buffet in Canada. I didn't even know this. It's at narcity.com from August 17, 2022. It says this buffet is open daily from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days a week. So where is it? There is a freaking buffet. It's in Weyburn, Saskatchewan. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I did not know. You know, a lot of people will be moving, right? Oh, you have them, Jess? Really? Ugh, my stomach. Okay, I'm never eating a shawarma from here at that place ever, ever again. <laughs> will Crystal and Leslie get in engaged for National Laundry Day? I don't think it's big enough since I wonder, but you know, doing every single holiday, they will get engaged. Stomach is so messed up. Why? It doesn't do that like when I eat shawarma in Kuwait. I don't know. <laughs> it tasted okay. If it's just, I don't know if it's like maybe too greasy, like that early in the morning, <laughs> that early in the day. Everybody <laughs> guessed the poll. All right, let me end this uh. poll. It's been on for a while. Did Foodie Beauty and Stella break up? 42% of you say yes. 29% just about say anyway. no. I have no idea. The clouds are pretty. It's a good day. Can I pull in here? It also says that it's Jackie Robinson yes. Day. Yes, you can. 
Yes, you can. Where am I going to park my car? I'm tired of this. You haven't eaten KFC in a few years? Well, I don't know. Uh, it really depends. Some people find it okay. Some people don't. I used to uh, know a guy. He used to call it the dirty bird. Well, guys, I don't know. I'm going to have to, like, go find somewhere. <laughs> I have a few things I got to do today. And then I can bees. I guess. Hey, yeah. Uh, what are some like awesome, uh, I don't know, BBC or series or what? You know what? I need to change my VPN to like London, England. I need to do that because uh, the Brits have like the best shows out there, man. I'm telling you, hands down, anything that comes out of like British television is typically really good. Let me plug my phone in. I've never been to Raising Kings. Maybe one day I'll go there. Hey, beauty. Popeyes is all right. Church's chicken is all right. And there's a The Brown. sandwich place is closed. And they make the best sandwiches. The best sandwiches. I got to take you guys there one day. Thank you, Ageless Beauty. Shogun is yeah, really Yeah, I know, good. right, Unicorn? I've been watching Shogun. Man, it's getting to a tipping point, isn't it? I've been really keeping up with Shogun. Ah, oh, it's great. It is odd. I don't know. Why is everything closed? No, it's not weight loss bees today. Tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't say I'm excited. Wait, what? When did I say I'm excited for war? Oh, you really, Sammy? Let's hand out bees or Q-tips for people. Be nice. Be nice. No one said that. Yeah, Asian food, where can, what can I get? Nothing really matters. Love is all we need. Everything I gave you comes back to me. <laughs> is that how it goes? <sighs> I didn't even joke about it. Or are you talking about me? I don't know if you're fucking well. okay. Yeah, I don't watch much TV, but I do watch uh, TV here and there if I need to catch up on certain things. But whatever I I need, I can usually find on the internet. I do have Netflix. I do have Prime Video. I do have Disney. I do have Hulu. So, you know. Okay. I see. I love it that you guys always say uh, TV license. That was a term that, you know, you know how you already know what it means when somebody says something. But yeah, we never say that over here. Like, yeah, you know, do you have a TV license? Very new to me. I heard that. I think, who did I hear that from? I think it was like Evil Queen was saying it. That is semi-see-through that outfit. Look at that. You can completely see her bust. You gotta support your mirror browns. Walk oh hell yeah, Beaker. Where's that? Taylor. Ew, not in the mall. At Cornwall, no. Sweet and sour chicken balls? Hey Lindsay! Is my health? Oh, it could be better. KFC bowl. Okay, that's No, we have chicken balls. No, I don't want like Chinese, like Chinese food. I want like um something with spicy peanut sauce. I forget that like, some kind of like noodle dish. Is that what you get? Korean japchae. At the end of the day, hey, 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 yeah. We lost your glasses. For the bad bottom of chocolates. Thai Express gives you diarrhea, I know. Satay chicken and rice. Chicken. Oh, yeah. she ended the stream. All right, we're going to catch up, people. Not much was, you know, done here. But, yeah, I figured she probably is in around Cornwall. Makes sense that a lot of places would be 
closed. Oh, Nixie, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're talking to me! Take us with you to a restaurant? <clears throat> Bring pizza? No. McDonald's? No. We're running out of options? There's a place on... It's just a nugget. Big facts. What's that place I always used to get? I didn't go to that buffet, Brenda. I didn't go. Only Timmy's. Nashies. There's no Nashies this year. Wow. Nice, Charlie's mom's. <laughs> I don't want Indian food. Warmer. No, I don't. I really want Asian food. I have a peel. I'm, where, you give me a sticker? Thank you, Emma Peel. Oh, there. Thank you, Emma Peel. That's so sweet of you. Thank you guys for your generosity. Why do you punish yourself? My stomach's better now that I, uh, you know, I feel better now, I think. No Chick fil A sauce? <laughs> Salad. Hi, Ronnie. Hot honey halloumi. Take Yum. care, Eggie. Have a good one. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, some people just have a darker sense of humor. Sometimes I do. I don't know. <laughs> Peanut chicken, yeah, like peanuts or something. <gasps> I can't do the Chick fil A girl's face. Yeah, probably American girl. <laughs> no, no, she doesn't. And probably people are sending her money. <laughs> salad, yeah. <laughs> a salad with a meal, sure. <sighs> no burgers and fries, gross me out. No, we're not tiny table. <laughs> Anything with the word tiny, forget it. I liked cottage cheese before I got the flu. <laughs> now I can't even think about it. It's weird. Yeah. <sighs> Sushi. Ooh, I don't know if that would be good for my stomach. Asian buffet. No buffets. Facts, sleepy. So true. Okay, maybe I can so true. go. Hey, <laughs> Trek <Track> 2. <sighs> yeah, Grandma, I should be. Not always possible. Maybe I can um, come back. Cheese in a sauce, oh paneer. Palak paneer. I have lip gloss now. Uh, I don't know. Thumbs is okay, but did I share any revelations? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll come back though, okay? Smash that like button, people. Like I'll uh, I'll decide on what to do later a bit later and I'll come back a bit later. So yeah. Cause I'm kind of like indecisive right now. <laughs> Thanks, teardrop! Okay everybody, I'll see you guys in a little yeah. bit, okay? Bye guys. All right, so she'll be back. I mean, this stream was really about nothing but her driving around and hiding the camera so people can't tell 
where the hell she is. But yeah, I figured she'd probably be in and around Cornwall. Probably started off like west of Cornwall, which is usually where the park is. You know that park that she likes to go to? Um, let me tell you the name. It's typically the park that it's... Um, what's it called? Like, uh, It's close to like the Long Sioux Parkway. Uh, like like uh, Guidon Park. Yeah, in and around Guidon Park is typically where she likes to hang around. But hey, don't quote me on that. But And also, she might be close to um, Avonmore Beach. But typically, uh, Guidon Park and the playground and other things is where she likes to uh, park her car. And then, you know, just drive around and whatnot. Um... Debbie's world is kind of pathetic. That's going to people are watching her sitting in the car and knowing that she's just sitting in the car and that she's not going to do anything other than talk about something stupid. Exactly. But people are still watching it. It's been over three years and it's still the same thing. All right, people. Thanks for hanging out with me. Some of you being with me for quite a few hours because this isn't the first stream we were doing uh, Foodie Beauty and DLF before this. And now we're here. Thanks so much. Take care of yourselves, people, and I'll see you later.